is going on everybody it's Colton back again with another NASCAR Heat 4 video um, if you could tell by the intro we are going to be doing a new series with the watermelon man himself Ross Chastain taking it to the truck series figured I'd shake it up a little bit don't see too many youtubers doing a uh, just a truck series uh, championship season um, the section that I chose was fantasy one and I believe that's actually next year's playoff format um, so we're going to start off with a Worldwide Technology Raceway, go to Canadian Tire, we've got Bristol, Vegas, Talladega, Martinsville, and then we're going to close it off at ISM. It's only seven races. I um, believe, when, when can I be cut off? So after three races, I could be cut off. So this, this could be a three-race series. It could be a seven-race series. We're just going to kind of keep that open. It's going to be pretty quick. Um, once this series ends, we'll I'll probably jump into another championship season. Um, but I'm excited for this, give the channel a little bit of a shake up and uh, do some NAS trucking. So, hope you guys enjoy it. Um, let's go on to uh, Worldwide Technology Raceway. All right, everybody, here we go. Uh, Worldwide Technology Raceway. Um, first qualifying session, we got third, which is, you know, awesome. Much better than our career mode. Uh, we got Jennifer Joe Cobb, Tyler Dipple, and Gustine all going to the back. Uh, so we have Matt Craft on the pole, who was actually this past season's uh, Truck Series champion. And just an early disclaimer, don't know how I'm going to perform. Not going to have the most detailed information on any of the drivers or racetracks in the Truck Series. I haven't really ever watched the Truck Series besides Eldora every, year, or every now and then. But uh, So just kind of bear with me. Don't really know how these trucks are going to drive. I haven't even driven at this track. Well, I guess I did a little bit for the intro. Um, but I haven't driven the truck since the truck series in my career mode. So, off to a hot start. I am playing on expert. Same, same, okay. Same settings as career mode. Um, I should have gone through the drivers that were in the, in the playoffs. Um, which I think are just randomly generated. Car's pretty quick. Got eight laps in the first stage. Uh, backstretch of this track really throws me off. how it just uh, caves in there, caves in quite a bit right here, and then all of a sudden, boom, it's out again. Uh, can be dangerous, I hit it a couple times in practice. But uh, man, we are really pulling ahead. We aren't gonna have to pit, I'm on four, four times. Um, tire wear, fuel consumption. This is a different style compared to the career mode. Um, hope you guys liked the intro. It was very, um, something I just put together, like, last second. I don't even know if, it's, if it is good. For me, I think I did a pretty good job just for something that I did real quick. But, uh, you'll have to let me know what you think. We do have a road course next, uh, Canadian Tire. Uh, as you know, I'm not very good at road courses. Sonoma, I won in my career mode just because that track's broken, and then Watkins Glen, I'm not too bad at. But any other road course in this game is a huge trouble for me. Man, our car is just dominating. As I say that, I jinx myself through the turns. But I hope you all are having a good day. It's currently Wednesday. Um, I suppose to keep the conversation going since there's only going to be, you know, an eight lap stage. Uh, I don't know how often I'm going to post this series. Like I said, it's a maximum of seven episodes. And the reason I chose Truck Series is, like I said before, not, you don't really see too many people doing a championship season in the Truck Series. But I chose Ross Chastain because he hasn't, he hasn't won a championship, but he's always up there as one of the top tier drivers in the Truck Series. And now he's going full-time Xfinity Series, I do believe. Um, except I don't have the knowledge. But I figured I'd shake it up a little bit. Um, a few of you were guessing that I was going to do an F1 Series. I mean, I'm, I'm open to that. But uh, at the same time, like if you think my driving in Heat 4 is reckless, you haven't seen anything until you see uh, F1. I am all over the place. I, I don't have any knowledge with F1. Never watched it until getting the game this year. But man, we are just pulling away. Two second lead. Alright, we are going to go ahead. I'm assuming this is going to... We're going to pan out this way, so we'll go ahead and check in at the end of the stage. Okay, and that's the end of the stage. Must have been an accident. Uh, won that stage. That's going to be huge for uh, points in the playoffs, anyways. 
Um, see, I wish I, I don't know the drivers that are on in the and the points. That's made fuel nine lap. I mean, I could probably make the next stage with every other car pit, and I'm just gonna come down, get new tires, fuel up, get ready to go. We are in first. Um, I'm hoping this race gets a little more entertaining because we dominated that first stage, and with us starting in first, I see the same thing ready. happening. But hey, it'd be nice just to secure, secure our way in to the uh, next round that quickly. Yeah, only seven laps in this stage. We've got Matt Crafton and Brett Moffitt in the playoffs in the top five with me. But other than that, Harrison Burton, Stuart Friesen aren't in it, which is kind of interesting. Inside. All right, clear low. Because in real life, I think they were, they both were. And one interesting thing with the, with this past season is Matt Crafton. I think was I think it was he's the first driver in the playoff format to win the championship without winning a race in the entire season. Uh, I thought that was pretty unique. It was also kind of glaring that like something needs to be done because if the drivers that are not winning are not being rewarded for you know winning, then the playoff system just needs to be reevaluated. I don't think it's fair to have somebody not win all season. But at the same time, you could argue, well, he's consistently finishing the best. Might not be winning, but he's having the top finishes every race. Oops, you're freezing gets into us. He came in there pretty quick. I, don't know, I might have raked earlier. And then I think Brett Moffat is switching from the number 24 to the number 23 truck next season. Oh boy. All right, second place. But it doesn't. Stuart Friesen's not in the playoffs, so I don't really need to worry too much. I do like truck racing though, for sure. And if I remember, um, if I remember in stage three, I'll bring it up. But I am thinking about adding a third series of the channel. That's not really going to be a series. It's going to be more of just like a casual, maybe weekly thing I can start doing on the channel. All clear. Um, we'll see. We got. All right, let's check in at the end of the stage. All right, here we are. We're coming through the end stage two. Uh, easy, easy stage one yet again. On Stuart Friesen, and then Matt Craft is the only other playoff driver. I, I just I don't like the playoff driver selection that they gave me. On that stage, way to go, driver. Another stage win. I wish in the live results they had highlighted um, the drivers that were in the playoffs, make things a little bit easier. So we're gonna go on to the third and final stage. We're gonna come through and pit real quick. We lost one spot. Got Natalie Decker up in tenth. All right, you're coming to the green. Are you ready? Um, Not one inside. How many laps we got? Oh boy, we got quite a bit of laps here. 21 laps in this stage. That's gonna be a long stage. Staying high up here. Um, Got oh one shoot. Get inside. Inside. All clear. I had something I wanted to share with y'all, but I can't remember what I was gonna say. Careful, still there. Finally getting some action up front. After this uh, race is over, I'll go through all the drivers that are in the playoffs. Yes, yeah, so tomorrow's Thursday. I am going to, I've mentioned it before in other videos, I'm getting up at like 2 in the morning on, on Saturday and making the drive down to Florida to uh, be with my family for a winter break. Cause I am employed by uh, university, so when the students get their time off, I get some time off too, which is really cool benefit to have. But I know Saturday, my undergraduate alma mater, Florida Atlantic, has their bowl game actually at their home stadium, so I'm going to go watch their football game with my dad. Um, so I'm not going to be recording Saturday. I'm not sure, real sure what my upload schedule is going to be. Um, I'm scheduled to take Friday off and then post Saturday. So I can't decide if I'm gonna still record Friday but post the video Saturday or just post Friday and then take Saturday off. Um, let me know what you all want me to do. 
Also, I guess I take a minute to thank y'all. Um, I saw that I hit 60 subscribers the other day, and I know that's like not that much. It might seem like it's not that much when there's you know other YouTubers out there with thousands of subscribers that are NASCAR based, and you know, I'm just just starting out. But it's still like each time I gain a subscriber, I still like I light up a little bit. Um, just out of out of appreciation because this is something I've been wanting to do for a really long time and I've always put it out or put it off. Um, I don't still don't really have the best resources, but uh, once I do, I, I really hope I can make this channel take off. Uh, I think each video is getting a little bit better here and there, and your guys' continued support is the uh, you know reason I keep keep wanting to come back and do these. You know, I could have a long day at work where I'm just really not feeling it. I could have something. You know, negative happened in my life, but uh, this is continuously something that I look forward to doing every single night, and uh, I appreciate you all, so keep up the support, and I'll keep up the videos. Leads increasing yet again. Got about 10 laps, so we need to pit. Hopefully no flags come out. I want to I try some green flag pit stops. I did notice the uh, entering the pit lane of this track is pretty difficult. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully. Okay, so we're going to come through a pit here. As you can see, there's a huge gap between me and second place. We both got into the uh, lap traffic. Let's try this out without spinning. And then, you know, when the, when the AI gets caught in lap traffic, they just, you know, basically forget how to drive. Not really sure where the enter is. Alright, whatever. Um, yeah, we'll get four tires too. So yeah, something's, something's up. Like, this is way too easy. Um, I am on expert difficulty. I don't know why it's so easy. Um, almost not even entertaining. I was at like 16 seconds ahead of second place. Like, freezing, freezing just passed me right now. There's Kraft in third place. So I don't know. They should be coming through in the next couple of laps. Um, only about, what was it, seven laps to go? Nothing too crazy. Um, we'll see where we cycle out once everybody comes through. Um, I could have gone another lap, but I decided to come come in a little bit early. Doesn't look like anybody else is coming in though. That's interesting. You're clear on pit road. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, they're coming through now. I think Sheldon Creed is number two, and he's in first now. Whoever's that, that car down in the bottom left right there, who's, whoever's in the back, I don't know who it is. Is that Austin Wayne Self? I'm not sure. But from behind, I feel like that car looks like an old square body Ford, and I, I love it. That red and white color. And everybody came down with Sheldon Creed and a few stragglers. So, I mean, I don't know. This is way, 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 way too easy. Um, we are at a road course next race, so that's going to be a lot more challenging for us, and it's one that I haven't raced at, and I can't tell you how long. But, I mean, hopefully this new addition to the channel really uh, gives a little more spark to it. Um, again, I know it hasn't been the most entertaining race, but I'm hoping that as the series continues, they'll, they'll improve. Um, one thing I noticed too is as I was lapping traffic, I, I was lapping a few drivers that were considered to be in the playoffs, like all the way back in like the late 20s, and I'm like, that's just such so weird. Like some of these drivers I never even heard of were selected to be in the playoffs, and I think oh, got a little caution coming out. Only 13 cars on the lead lap. We're not gonna pit. Sheldon Creed actually it worked out for him where he's in second now because of the caution. Um, but yeah, so. I don't know, some of the drivers I just I didn't even know when they were considered to be in the playoffs, but then you got someone right, like Stuart Friesen who's not in the playoffs. So, I didn't really like that selection, so we'll go through and look at the list of drivers right, after this so race, but we got two to go. That's probably going to work, we already it's screwed done. up and I don't win the race. I only really got Matt Crafton to worry about. It always takes me a couple laps to get going. Still there. All clear. As long as I can hold that low lane, I'll be fine. 
I'm just going to dive in there real aggressively and then slam on the brake so I can make sure I'm guaranteed that bottom lane. Got one to go. Or so I thought. There we go. I don't even remember the name of the speedway. Worldwide Technology Speedway. All right, well, it looks like first episode in the series, the truck series is gonna be a winner. Uh, I hope. Um, maybe I was born for the trucks. Maybe the cup series just isn't for me. Here we go, winning our first race, advancing the next round. Sheldon Creed second, Matt Craft in third, Harrison Burke fourth, and Stuart Friesen in fifth. Uh, we're gonna do some burnouts. I imagine it's gonna be pretty embarrassing here just because the walls are so tight together. We're gonna start off going in reverse, I guess. These are weak. Yeah, we're okay, so we're throwing down. Race one. I'll take it. Hopefully it's not our last one. Hopefully we can get one at ISM. But cool. Cool, cool. So yeah, that's that's gonna finish the race. We're gonna go through and check out the uh, standings, race results, and uh, take it from there. Taking out the race results, we won. We advanced to the next round. Sheldon Creed second, Matt Craft in third, Burton fourth, Freeze in fifth, like I mentioned earlier. Um, the only other playoff driver I know that was in the top ten was Brett Moffitt. Um, Natalie Decker was the top ten. I, I don't know. I don't get it. Um, so taking a look at the playoff grid. Yeah, we still got myself, Matt Craft in, and Brett Moffitt, Grant F uh, Enfinger. Ben Rhodes, Johnny Sauter, Mason Massey, and Myatt Snyder. I don't know. I don't like these the selection of drivers that are in here. Uh, let me know what you guys' thoughts are on that. Um, maybe some of you guys are bigger truck fans than, than you know the average human, but like I, I don't. Mason Massey and I don't, Matt. I'm just calling Matt Snyder. I don't. I don't even know who they are. But um, yeah. So we locked our way way into the round of six, which is great. Um, which those races are going to be at uh, Vegas, Talladega, and Martinsville. So hopefully, um, that, you know, those are some tracks that we can compete at. That Dega will be fun, I hope. Um, then we got Bristol. That should be another track we should win at. Or hope we can win at. But um, what am I trying to say here? It's, it's in this round, so we've already secured our way. We can go ahead and lock up some more points in case we get into a situation where we need to point our way in. Um, but I'm not sure when the next episode of this will be. Let me know how often you guys want me to post this series. Um, hoping that uh, Kennedy and Tyre will be a little more entertaining than the first race. But hey, I mean, if it's not going to be entertaining, I'd rather it be because I won and not because I'm stuck in the back battling for 32nd or however many drivers there are. But uh, thanks for tuning in, everybody. And we will be back again with a career mode episode tomorrow. So we'll see you then.